hi guys welcome back to my channel so today is video three of my three video series on my comparison videos with my three year hair and next video i'm going to be filming probably next week crossing fingers will be my three year anniversary video so i'm not really sure what i'm going to be doing for this one since i did so much already um, i'm trying to find ideas but um this is what's happening right now so today is the comparison with my two-year anniversary so it's going to be the two-year versus three-year how is my hair looking how is it different and all that so let's get into it i'm starting the video now as usual i'm going to be speeding up the uh, clips that i'm going to be adding so if you want to watch the entire video in regular speed or the speed that you choose <laughs> um, well you can just go and check out my videos on my channel or on the playlist this video is my sister locks two-year anniversary it's pretty easy to find and yeah so let's let's do this all right let's go hi guys welcome back to my channel i am here because the moment has come i am celebrating my two-year anniversary i just for sure wanted to celebrate this but filming here right now is the kids are always home i never have the uh, opportunity to film as much as i can they're home right now so excuse the noise if you hear loud kids so my journey so far it's been a great journey i would say the only thing that was a little bit difficult was the beginning when i had to decide on sister locks versus micro locks that was the hardest decision like for example before that i did lasik it was easy i chose lasik when i was sick and tired of having to buy new glasses i've worn braces that was easy i chose the braces i didn't necessarily care about wearing invisible braces or things like that and back then when i did it there was no invisible possible so sister locks is another thing that i did for beauty for myself my body to enhance myself somehow and for me just looking at myself right now this is the best thing i've ever done for my hair it's like every day when i look at it i'm like so impressed the best decision of my life when it comes to my hair hands down upkeep first year was really smooth i went to my appointments every five six weeks i don't think i passed the six weeks and then covid hit okay covid hit so after covid my appointments have been a little bit more spaced than the five to six weeks but i am grateful that i have been able to go and that somehow my appointments have fallen in between the lockdowns and the reopening so i was always able to schedule an appointment from christmas to beginning of february there was a lockdown no hairdressers could serve clients where i live and so i had to wait until my stylist reopened and she reopened and i have an appointment uh, with her in a couple days and so it's been since december my last appointment was december 19th so it's been it's a long time so my appointment will be longer but it's not anybody's fault but at least you know uh, i don't have to wait six months or something like that i was able to schedule myself and the appointments are long but it's bearable for hours approximately it's fine I, I can deal with that other than that i started seeing my hair growing and like it's touching my shoulders for real and i saw that this year it started to drop like that and it's on my shoulders and it looks really nice let me just turn it a little bit it actually looks really good oh my god my Two. year anniversary my hair was like it was like i felt like i feel like it was fuller i i, I mean i don't know if that's if i'm seeing right but i guess because it's 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 longer let me just remove this let's just let's do the same hair because because it looks i feel like my hair looks better no no this is this is amazing this is okay so this okay let's do this we're gonna compare with my same hair same hairdo same i'm gonna be um oh well, let's see all right let's oh. okay so this It looking full is it full yeah okay so I'm gonna be putting my two-year picture right here so let me move here so that you guys can really compare so yeah it's longer I don't know I, I, it can be fuller is it fuller right now I can't see because I can't compare it let me just so for me my look really nice let me just turn a little bit saw that this year it started to drop like that and it's on my shoulders and it looks really nice and it just turned a little bit so for me my hair is oh my god it got so much longer i hadn't watched this video before filming this i didn't i didn't pre-watch it so i'm watching this with you guys in real time and yeah my hair got so long wow amazing it's really amazing so i'm turning to face this way to show my side so let me just turn crown here if i i will probably show you that after but if i show you you will see scalp here when i turn around you will, you will see scalp and you probably see through a little bit i can't see right now because my screen is too small but we probably see through my hair here but not that much i feel the weight of my hair on my neck so i'm only gonna show my hair because there's really an evolution for me my ends are still curly so i know that i'm not ready to be like hey i can move on my hair my hair's locked it's just the back some some locks in the back are locked and i'm always struggling to show my locks but some locks in the back are, are like this they're completely locked uh, i show it on my face and yeah that's awkward the longest ones evidently are the ones that are not locked because the ones that are locked they kind of fold into each other but then there are the little the little locks like this that are longer 
compared to another one that's next to it that's more that's locked so i have a few locks like that that are super different but it's, it's a battle between the locks that are locked and that one that i just showed it's buddy like it's not it's not curly like this one these ones are curly at the end that lock is not curly at the end it, there's a little ball so something's happening something's happening but i don't know what exactly it's still like that i think i have a couple like this this one too it's a little shorter and i feel that it's budding it's thicker here i don't know if you can see that no it's my face like that here it's budding but there's a little ball at the end but it's not you can see that it's not completely locked they feel different the ones that are locked feel different like this one's locked oh no it's not locked the ends it's almost locked the ends are not completely sealed but there's a ball and it's thicker so the ones that are locking the ones that are locked are the back ones i sleep on my back and those seem to rub more but if i look at the top ones it's not even starting well something's happening they're thicker than they were in the beginning so something is happening but the ends aren't sealing the ends are not hard they're still fine i don't mind it i think it's really cute but if you look at the small ones the shorter ones the ones that used to come undone in the beginning all the time like this one this one is almost locked i don't know if we can see the new girl something's happening to this one too there's here it's budding but i'm afraid because of the way that it's locking that i might lose this part because this here it feels like it's coming apart and okay so i already said how many locks i have so i have 562 locks i haven't lost a lock i haven't lost half of a lock yet the only thing i mentioned this before in another video but the only thing is some locks like the ones that are locking they're thicker and you can tell that okay so in this two-year anniversary i hadn't lost a lock but i think that the appointment that i went to right after this video so the appointment i was scheduled to go to is the appointment where i lost one of the locks in the front and that one was combined during the summer. I think it's this one here. I'm not really sure. No, it was this side. So maybe this one. I don't I don't know for sure, but one of those, like maybe this one. It was combined. So I feel like it this one is bigger. It could be this one. I'm not really sure which one it is. So that's what happened. So after that appointment, like I was saying. Uh, one lock was combined and then during the summer I lost half of this one but it, this is nothing new we talked about that last video I keep losing that lock keeps you know rejecting the end <laughs> and this is yeah this one I don't know it looks like I don't know but wow the evolution so one year and so much happened. Like, I, I, I can't imagine what my hair is gonna look like at four years. I really can't, but three years, it looks amazing. It really does, it looks amazing to me. Oh my gosh, I'm really amazed at what it looks like. Yeah, I'm really happy, I'm really proud, I'm really, yeah, let's continue. You can tell that they have gathered the shed hair. Sometimes at the end, it will be a little bit looser and the shed hairs will come out so i will lose a little bit of the end of the lock but i haven't been playing with the balls of the locks that i found i think i lost one little ball one time i was you know fixing my hair and it came out but i don't play with the little balls i don't cut them out i don't do anything to hinder the locking process on purpose i like to play with my hair but now that i'm used to it it's not as bad as it used to be so mainly i put my hair in a half up hairdo so this is my style you already know i put my hair up in the little half up hairdo and this is what i rock every day yeah the elastic is gray so it's a little crazy because there's contrast with my hair but this is what i do with my hair most of the time I fix it to be behind my back like that and this is how i wear my hair every day this would be a style that i probably would wear if i had to go somewhere i'm starting to play around with things last week i did a braid out i don't think we can still see it now and so i was playing with it i was trying to see if i can stretch my hair to see how it looks but it didn't really stretch my hair when i did the braid out it just looked as the same as usual i'm not doing anything to keep my curly ends i love the process of locking it's been two years in my hair and we can see the curlies are still here so i don't think that i'm gonna be missing out i don't think that i'll be missing my curls that much that i will want my ends to stay curly and i'm sure like some of them will stay curly for a long time until it all locks on its own and by then my hair will be down my back hopefully and i will not care about because the curls look good when they frame your face but after that if your hair is like all the way like behind I don't know i feel like it won't matter i still believe this right now i don't care about my curly ends because as my hair is getting longer my ends are like not framing my face anymore they're lower and so it, it, it's not it's not as appealing as it was in the beginning so the process is logical the process makes sense like in the beginning your ends are curly because they're framing your face and around your face and it looks really cute but then when as your hair is growing and it's longer you, you don't care about it anymore like i feel like soon i will want to get a haircut because my hair will just be flat and long and maybe i will have i will want body and because i've always loved body or i'll just wear curly curly styles because i will want my hair to be more you know instead of just dead straight 
I don't know if that's something, but I'm always touching my hair when I'm talking about it. So in my videos, you guys see me touching my hair so much. I don't really do, I don't feel like I do that all the time. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Let's, let's continue. Like, it won't matter. And of course, as for like, like anything, I have concerns and worries for certain locks. Like for example, this one, and I have a couple like that. It's bigger here and then it becomes a little thin here. And then the bottom is bigger. So I have a few locks like that. And okay, so about those locks that I thought were gonna be problematic. Aside from the one I lost last year, right after this video, I haven't lost a lock. Like I've seen those locks that look like something will happen to them, but so far nothing's happening. It's been a few months, it's been a year for, th for the lock that I just talked about. It was a year and nothing, I feel like it just resolved itself because I, I can't, like I don't find it, I don't know where it is. I don't know which one it was. So, yeah, trying to see if I can find it. Some of the logs are bigger than others, so that's different for me. It's kind of weird, but yeah, I don't know. Like if I look at this one, it's like they filled out, like the parts that were a little bit thinner filled out on this side. So I still have this one that I'm trying to see if I showed it before while I, while I was listening, um, that long one that is kind of thin in the middle Th that even that one i feel like it's it's is it this one okay it's this one so that one nothing's happening like it's not it's i don't feel that it's weak it's still i don't like to pull on it but it's still even though it's hanging on by a few strands here still looks strong like it's gonna fill out or something i'll let you guys know if something happens to it right now I, I can't say anything about the logs that I had concerns about right now. I think nothing's ever going to be perfect. Even if you're wearing your loose natural hair or you're wearing, um, you know, a relaxed hair, you're always going to have a section or, you know, some parts of your hair that's, that are going to be um, a little weaker, a little more like you have to be careful with them or whatever. But I guess that's what it is. Like you have locks that are a little bit weaker than others, but just give them time to either get stronger or just release and then start over you know if they just come out and then you just start over with them with a um, stronger foundation i guess because i guess i don't believe that all your locks are all going to be perfect this is what my hair is looking like my hair hasn't been retightened so guys i have no grit but otherwise nothing really drastically horrible and so my crown let's talk about my crown so this is a lock from the crown. Let me see if I can get another one, just to compare. We talked about my crown last, not last video, but the video before that, and even the video before that one, I talk about my crown a lot. It's a success story for me. My crown is still the most amazing part of my hair. I said that before and I will say it again. Um, I haven't had one, not one issue with my crown and my crown was my plot problem area in the back of my mind i know that micro locks would have been just as beautiful just as nice it would have been just as nice but i'm glad that i'm able to do this so yeah. continuing on do the reasons for choosing sister locks or choosing to lock my hair do they still hold true after two years i would say for the most part yes the reason main reason i locked my hair was for vanity reasons my hair wasn't growing the way that i was expecting it to grow when i decided to become natural so that was my last resort i always knew when i started researching how to grow hair and everything like that i always knew that locked hair could retain length that is like how would you say that by default the default state of lock hair is to retain length so for me that was the biggest incentive for choosing to lock my hair i wanted to grow long hair and i wanted to do it without having to slave over my hair so if you want to grow long hair and have it be easy i think that locking your hair is the solution am i still happy that i chose sister locks versus other locks it was always going to be small locks be it traditional locks micro locks sister locks it was always going to be the small size but sister locks versus micro locks like i just said i think i would have been happy either way but i'm really happy that i chose sister locks i look i love the way it looks i love the style i love the, the size i love the experience i've had so far with them it's been a good experience and honestly this length is so beautiful it gives me everything it gives me the volume that i wanted it gives me the little curlies at the end it gives me the framing of the face you guys know i just gush over my hair every chance i get so i think i'm just gonna show you my locks okay so we already see the front and this is what my hair is looking like before we I think I'm gonna sh skip the part where I show my hair because I did that last video I showed my hair and my hair is the same as last video and also because I want to keep some things for my next video but I then I don't really have a lot to say I guess the two-year 
hair is absolutely beautiful guys if you're on your way to the two years i encourage you it's it's beautiful three years is looking amazing but i'm already seeing that it's looking flatter flatter than two years i'm not complaining i'm not saying it's bad i'm just saying i've done more braid outs this close to two years i've done more braid outs than i had done for um two years because i like the full hair i like the voluminous hair and i'm feeling like my hair is going back to being the flat hair that i know when i was relaxed my hair used to be flat like this and this is bringing me back this is bringing me back to that but like i said i am not i'm not complaining i'm not saying anything bad about it so yeah that's it I'm just all right so that's it i compared my hair to two years i don't really have anything to say so i agree with everything i said in the video there's nothing different that i would have said there's nothing to add and two years versus three years it's really close so i feel like yeah there's nothing to say so good good for me uh, the video won't be too long to edit and i'll be able to work on my next video so thank you guys so much for watching thank you for subscribing of course and i'll see you on the next video bye